Hi everyone, so today I have a really short haul video for you guys, so I hope you enjoy. So the first off I'm going to start talking about is MAC. As you guys know, I went to the MAC counter, um, not this week, but last weekend, and um, I told you that I was going to try MAC for the first time because I had never tried MAC, and I was really interested in just seeing um, the MAC counter. And let me say, I've fallen in love with MAC. Um, I just picked up actually three things, and I'm looking to pick up some more this weekend. Um, I'm not going out of town. I'm actually going to order from my Macy's store and um, get Mac that way. If you don't have a Mac counter somewhere near you, I recommend that you go to Macy's, or you can either go to Mac.com, Mac cosmetics.com and you can actually order your Mac stuff there so those are just some of the ways that you can get Mac I also heard like some of the outlet malls if you go like to I think it's like the cosmetic shop or something like that or the makeup shop or something along those lines if you see something like that in your outlet mall you might want to try there too because they might actually have maybe some discontinued Mac products I don't know but it's worth a try so um if you use Mac, if you love Mac, just leave me a comment below and let me know what you love so I can have different things to try. Because like I said, I'm still new to Mac. I don't know a whole lot about the bringing, um, but what I did see, I fell in love with. And so I'm going to just be sharing what I got with you. So the first thing I got from Mac is the... Um, Magically Coolant Liquid Powder, and I've been using this powder as a highlight. Um, I have it basically... Um, on my T-zone area and I, I, like, uh, I highlighted the um, cheekbones with it and I absolutely love this powder. It The first time I tried it um, when I was at home and I used it and you know in the store when she was doing it I thought maybe she might spray the brush or something like that to make sure any germs or anything was off of it. But when I actually got home and applied it with my brush, I was really surprised. I kept thinking, like, what did I set my brush in wet? Um, I love the consistency of it. It does have a lot of glitter, so make sure you have a, um, a pretty much of a light hand when you use it. Um, I'm actually thinking to stop using this as a highlight for my face, but to use it as more of maybe like a body shimmer. But it does have that cooling effect to it, so it does feel wet when it goes into the skin. And I absolutely love this product. Um, for right now, I'm going to keep using it as my um, highlighter until I can get the mineral skin finish. So that's just what it looks like. And like I said, I absolutely love it. It is a loose powder. It just come like in a sifter container like that. And um, that's another thing I'm not too thrilled about. I would rather have something that, you know, wasn't in a sifter like this because if you drop it, of course, you're going to lose some of the product and it's all going to go up to the top of the cap. The next thing I got from MAC is the... Um, lip glass and this one is in Viva Glam 6 and I absolutely love love this it is really pretty I have it on today and it's a really sheer color um, I'm gonna do this like a little swatch for you and it goes perfectly with the lipstick that I picked up and like I said I absolutely love it this is the color right there um, and I absolutely love it. Perfect for summertime. It can be worn with a lipstick or it can be worn alone. So that's definitely another thing that I absolutely love about it. And then the lipstick that I got is um, Cap Capricus Cap Capriculus Capriculus, I guess. That's it right there. Um, and basically, it is just a really nice, you would kind of think it's like a nude color almost, the way it looks. But I actually love this color. I actually have it on my lips today. To me, it just adds a little bit of shine, um, which is really nice. It actually has like pink and red undertones. Here it is here. It looks a little bit more purple, but I absolutely love it. When I tried this on with this lip gloss here, which is the look that I have on now, I was in love with it. I had to just actually go back and just get... Um, both of them. I couldn't wait. Normally what I do is I try to do my routine where I put something on and then I walk around the mall just to see if it has like any drying properties or anything like that. But I absolutely fell in love with everything that I tried on from MAC and so it was just an easy purchase from that point on. The next thing that I'm going to talk to you about is another haul that I did. Um, as you know, I love my e.l.f. brushes and, um, 
I really, really just love e.l.f. But for some reason, I wanted to try Sigma. I went onto the Sigma website, and I saw that they had two brushes for, I think it was maybe $28. And I'm thinking, well, that's not too bad. Um, of course, you know, I, I got my 15-piece set for 15, 11-piece set for $15. Um, so I was kind of thinking, you know, I need to branch out more. And I did tell you that I was going to try more higher end stuff. So, you know, um, Elf is kind of like on the bottom shelf a little bit. Um, but they have wonderful products. I mean, so if you can spend less money and basically get the same quality, then why not? But I went ahead and I tried Sigma. So the ones that I'm going to tell you about, basically, I got the Sig Max Precision Brushes. Um, and mine are dirty because I did use them this morning. I have been using them all week because I actually want to do, um, a kind of like, I've been comparing them to like my e.l.f. brushes and just to see which ones I like better. So I'm going to give you like a little mini review here. Um, this is the Sigma. This is the F80. This is the one that you hear talked about a lot on YouTube. Basically, it's just a flat top kabuki brush and a lot of people will compare it to this um, e.l.f. powder brush here. When the two of these are compared together, as you can see, the widths on these brushes are definitely different. The e.l.f. one is a lot taller than the Sigma. Um, but I will say I like the way that the e.l.f. applies it better. The e.l.f. is more dense, meaning that it's you have to use this one more to buff in. Um, this one, I just feel that Yes, it gives you that nice complexion. You do, you definitely use less foundation with this one, um, even with this one. But I like the way the application better with my e.l.f. brush. I don't know if I just got used to it. I think because it's so much bigger, as you can see there, I think because it's so much bigger, it just takes less time to get the product on and polished. I don't know, but I am really like my e.l.f. My e.l.f. brush better than I do the... Sigma F80, and I know that's one that people love on YouTube. Um, the next brush that I have is the Angle Top Kabuki, and this is <clears throat> the F84. And I like this brush. I've actually been using it for the highlight. I think it's just perfect just to add that highlight right in that area. It's also perfect if you don't want to use it for a highlighting brush. You can also use it for your bronzer, and it gets right on that area for your bronze. And so I absolutely love this brush. Um, and then I have the Taper Kabuti, which is the um, F86, which is the one that looks like this. I have been using this brush for my highlight because this one is just right there where you want to put your highlight at. I feel this is the perfect brush for that, and that's basically all I've been using this one for. I guess you could use it if you wanted to, like, maybe get some concealer in that area or whatever. That would be good for that, but I've just been using this brush for my highlighter. And the last but not least brush um, is my F82 um, by Sigma, and this is my absolutely favorite brush. This brush works so good with blending out your concealer, and um, as you know, or you might not know, but I actually put on... Um, I like my eyes to look highlighted and brightened a lot, so what I will tend to do is I will actually take this brush, um, I put my concealer on with it first, and then I put my makeup on, and then I will go back and I conceal again, but this is with a highlight and concealer right for underneath that eye area, and this brush just blends it out perfectly. Um, I'm actually going to show you now how well it blends out. So this is basically... Um, the concealer that I go back and reconceal with. It's the Tone Correcting Concealer. This is from e.l.f. And I have the one in Apricot Beige. And I absolutely love this. You can just apply it like this. It has a little doe foot applicator. So I think that's pretty perfect for that. I just put it in the dots like you see on my face right now. And then I just take the e.l.f. 82 Sigma. And you just go underneath and I just really just pat in that area just in those type of motions there and I want you to see like how brightening this is and how well it works and that's it so I absolutely love this I'm gonna actually do the other eye so one doesn't look um, too much different than the other one but I use this like for that brightening um, kind of effect 
and I absolutely love it because I do put on that, that second layer of concealer to give me kind of, I guess what they call like the Kim Kardashian. Um, if you look at her, you will notice, I'm looking at the mirror behind me, that's what you're wondering what I'm looking at. But if you know, if you, when you look at her, you notice like she has like this little brightening thing going on. And that's because um, she uses like a, a brightening kind of powder or something like that for the under eye area. So that is my quick review and haul from Sigma and MAC. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, leave me a comment and let me know um, what MAC products you've tried and which ones you love so I can actually give them a try. Because like I said, I'm new to MAC, but I definitely want to try some more of their products. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.